Okay, so in this episode, we're gonna talk about how to make a menu, or what you might call navigation. We're gonna talk about where to put it, and we're gonna talk about how to actually make it. So if we take a look at our website, you guys can actually see we do have a header with a black background, and we have an image inside of our header. Now, what I had imagined was that we're gonna create a navigation, which will start from the end of the wrapper, going towards the left. Because that's just like a really basic looking one, and I don't want to do something that looks really complicated since this is i kind of see this as a beginner's tutorial series and it's better that you guys know the basics before we start experimenting with you know some really fancy looking designs for a menu and we can always make an episode like that later if you guys want to and then we can just sort of you know do some really cool stuff with css but for now we're just going to create a very basic one so inside our code the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and actually remove the black background color of our header so we're just going to go ahead and delete it here from our header styling. And the reason we're doing that is because, as you guys may remember from the last episode, we did actually create a styling for every single link on our website. And we decided to make all the colors of our text black. And if we were to put a, you know, black colored text on top of a black color background, we can actually see what we're making. So we just need to make sure we don't have a black background color inside our header. So if I go ahead and refresh the browser, you guys can see that right now, it just looks like we have a logo. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into our index.html and we're gonna talk about how to actually make the physical navigation. So you guys may notice that we do already have a couple of nav tags inside our header. And this is where we're gonna put our navigation. Now you do actually need to go inside the nav tags and create something called an unordered list. Now. I'm just gonna mention this because I saw this in the beginning when I studied back at you know my university when people had to start making websites in HTML and CSS. I noticed a lot of people like to make menus by simply taking a couple of links and putting them next to each other. Of course that's gonna work, but that's not the ideal way to do it. So we're, we're gonna make sure we do it the right way so you guys can see how to do it. So inside our nav tags, we're gonna go ahead and create this unordered list, which is essentially what you see when, for example, if you have a Word document open and you make a bullet pointed list, you know, you're gonna have a couple of lines going downwards with bullet points on the left side. And that's what an unordered list is. So we're gonna start out by making one of those. And you might be a little confused now thinking, you know, why do we need to make an honored list? But we'll get to that a little bit later in this episode. So for now, we're gonna make a UL tag and we need to make sure we open and close it. Inside our unordered list, we do actually need to make a list item, which is gonna be one link inside our navigation. And you do that by creating a LI tag, like so. And then we can put some text in here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put home as our first link in our navigation. And I made it in, you know, capitalized letters because that's apparently what's popular right now on a lot of websites. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. So now that we have our home tag, we can actually go ahead and save this and refresh our browser. And you guys will see, we do actually have some text here, but this is, there's still a couple of things wrong. First of all, we can't actually click it and it won't do anything. Second of all, it doesn't appear up here where I want it, you know, on the right side, the wrapper, next to our logo because it actually goes beneath our logo. So when it comes to positioning objects on a, you know, on a website, you need to know that the order you put stuff in inside the HTML sheet is the order you're gonna see it on the website. Because our logo is the first thing that appears inside our code and then the navigation is the second thing, inside our website, the logo is gonna be the first thing and the navigation is gonna be the second thing underneath each other. So in order to put them next to each other, we need to include some styling called float. Now what float does is that it takes two objects and looks at them, okay, if they come right after each other and they both have the float element to them, we're gonna put them next to each other because they have to float next to each other if you can say it that way. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and go into our styling. And because our navigation tags are the ones that are right after our image, we just need to style the nav tags. So going down at the very bottom of our styling, we're gonna go ahead and write NAV space, open up the code with the curly brackets, and then we're gonna say float, F-L-O-A-T, and then we're gonna set it to float left. Actually, no, we're gonna set it to float right. Now, because we have it set to float right, 
we do actually need to tell every single item that floats next to each other, like every item on the website that goes next to each other, have to float. We can't just take the object that has to go to the right side and make, make it float, because it will go to the right, but it will not go next to the object we want to go next to. So if I were to refresh the browser, it would actually the text would not appear uh, next to the logo on the right side. It would actually appear you know, at the same spot it is, but just to the right, underneath the logo. So we need to actually also float the logo. So inside our styling, we're going to go into the header image styling. I'm going to say float left. Save it and refresh our browser. And now you'll see that the text is going all the way to the right, all the way to the top. And that's because our logo does actually have some margin on it, saying that you know it needs to have a certain margin from the top. But if we don't have that margin, they would actually be next to each other. So if I go into our website, again, inside the coding, and I go down to our uh, HTML part. So inside our index.html, we're going to include the links now. So we're going to go ahead and include the anchor tags next to our text, not outside the, the li tags, but inside the li tags. I'm just going to include it around our text. So we also need to make sure we include a path. So right now we need it to link to the front page because that's where the home links to. So we're going to say index.html is going to be the link. And then we're going to go ahead and copy this line. I'm going to add it down just maybe like three more times. And then we're going to change the text on the second one to, let's say, gallery. The third one is going to be forum. And the fourth one is going to be contact. And then we're going to change the links so that the, you know, the second one is called gallery.html. The third one is called forum.html. And the th uh, fourth one is going to be contact.html. Now, we don't actually have these pages yet. Keep that in mind. But we will be creating them at some point. Well, at least some of them we might be. So if I save this and refresh our browser, you'll notice that now we have them going underneath each other. Now, we can't actually see bullet points, but sometimes you will see them, and then you will actually need to remove them inside the styling. And we will make sure to do that, even though we can't see them, so you guys know exactly what to do if they do actually appear. So right now, we need to actually make it uh, so that every single list item we have inside the menu go next to each other and not underneath each other. We need to include some spacing between them, and we need to make sure that they have the right font type. So if I go into the code again, into our style sheet, I'm going to go down underneath our nav and I'm going to start styling our UL. So we're going to say we have a nav tag inside our HTML. Inside the nav tags, we have a unordered list. We have a UL. I'm going to go ahead and make the curly brackets and I'm just going to keep it empty for now. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy this and paste it underneath here. And after the UL on the second one, we're going to include li. Then we're going to copy paste again and put it underneath here. And then after the li, we're going to put the anchor tag. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and say, well, we want our menu points to go next to each other. So inside the li styling, which we have as the second one, we're going to go ahead and say that we need to display our menu inline dash block meaning that we want it to be in line with each other, going next to each other. And we, want, uh, and we want to make them into block items, meaning we can actually make background color and make them into like actual boxes we can click on. So I'm going to save this. And then we, if we refresh the browser, you'll actually notice, if I zoom in a little bit, that our menu items actually go next to each other. Now we will include the spacing. As you guys can see, we do have some spacing, but we don't have a lot of spacing. So it might seem that everything right here is just one big line of text. So inside our coding again, we're going to go ahead and go into our li tags once more. Say margin dash left. And then we're going to make a margin of about 20 pixels. Save it, refresh the browser, and we have some spacing. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and style the actual text. And in order to do that, we need to style the anchor tag. So we're going to go down to the anchor tag, which is, you know, where the text is inside of. And we're going to go ahead and say font dash family, which is the font type that you have, you know, Arial, uh, Times New Roman, that kind of fonts. And what you can do, and I'm just going to show you guys, 
we're gonna make sure that it's gonna be Arial. So in order to get Arial, we're just gonna go ahead and write Arial. Some fonts will be pre-installed on your computers. Arial is one of the fonts that will be installed on every single computer you see out there. So Arial, we can just go ahead and write. Some fonts, however, if you were to install a font from the internet somewhere, you can't put in here unless you actually include the font into your root folder. So we're just gonna stick with the basic font for now. Later, we will actually talk about how to include fonts, but for now, we're just gonna stick with Arial. Now, just to show you guys, if we have a font that doesn't actually exist on a computer and the person is actually viewing our website, what you can do is you can write comma, and then we can say Helvetica afterwards. And then we'll actually say, okay, if we do not have Arial on the computer that's viewing our website, then we'll display Helvetica instead. Of course, these are like two different fonts. They look totally different from each other. But just to kind of show, each other, uh, show you guys that you can actually do it, this is how you do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it as Arial. Underneath here, we're going to say font size, font desk size, set it to 14 pixels. Underneath here, we're going to say color. Well, actually, we don't need to do that because we did actually style our color inside the anchor tag at the very top. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and keep this for now. So if I go refresh, the browser you guys can see it did actually change a bit and now what i want to do is i want to take the entire menu and move the entire thing downwards a little bit i want it to be uh, centered on my logo so in order to actually see when it's centered just for now we can go up and say that the nav should float left instead and then if i were to refresh you guys will see it actually goes to the left side of the logo like I said, when you put stuff inside the HTML sheet, if you put them underneath each other in the code, they will appear uh, underneath each other inside the website as well. But if you float everything left, they will appear on the left, uh, sorry, on the right side of each other all the time, if that makes sense. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and go inside our nav, or actually we're gonna go inside our UL, which we haven't styled yet, and say margin dash top, and set it to maybe 34 pixels and see how much that is. Refresh. And as you guys can see, we do actually need about twice as much. So we're going to say 64 pixels. Refresh. And we almost have it. So we're going to say 72. Or maybe just 70. Again, a lot of the you know styling has to do with a little bit of experimenting. So you get it just right. Okay, so it did actually look like 72 was the way to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and say 72. And that looks right. So now I'm going to go ahead and float it to the right again. So I'm going to say float right inside my nav styling. And now we have a navigation that's floating to the right. So if I zoom out to 100% again, you guys can see we do have some text over here. And we do have our logo. So now we can actually click them and it will take us to pages. Of course, right now we don't have these pages yet, so we'll actually say page not found, but the home button will take us to the front page. So this is how you create a navigation. And that's essentially all I need to show you guys in this episode. Okay, so as you guys can see, I did actually pause the video because I realized as I was editing the video that I forgot to show you guys how to remove the bullet points. So if you do actually have bullet points showing next to the list items, the way to remove them is to go inside your style sheet, go down to the list item styling, and then go down to next line and include a piece of code called list dash style and set it to none and then save it. And that's how you get rid of the bullet points. So now I'm just gonna let you guys continue finishing off this video. In the next one, we're gonna talk about how to actually incorporate a different font because I would like to use a different font for the navigation before we get too well started on this website. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.